All right, I want to do a video today on Zoom video communication. Now, I do want to be 100% clear. This is ticker symbol ZM, not ticker symbol ZOOM, which spells out Zoom, as there have been a lot of people over the past week that have tossed their money at Zoom, Z-O-O-M, uh, went all the way up to like $40 a share. Today alone, it was down over 50%. Now it's trading at like $8 a share. Now, I don't know if people are doing this just because they think that there will be other morons that are going to chunk their money into it not knowing. Nonetheless, I would not advise a strategy where you bank on other people making a mistake as to what the ticker symbol is. You could get lucky and make some money. But that is just, uh, that is all just luck. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into ticker symbol ZM. This is going to be Zoom video communication. Uh, we're just going to be looking at the chart, uh, picking out some levels as it has pushed higher, um, a good bit higher over the past um, week or two weeks. So let's go ahead and toss it up on the screen here. You can see this is going to be the 20 day hourly chart. So uh, right off the bat, it might not be super clear as to the levels to look at, but I'll go ahead and show you guys what I was looking at in particular um, prior to this big move that we saw. So on the low end, my support that I was looking at was right around the $102 price point. Um, so I'll go ahead and throw in a uh, support line right in here. And then the upper uh, resistance line really that I was looking at uh, making this more so of a channel was right in here in the high teens uh, so right around $118 a share up to say $120 a share and you can kind of see now that we we had this pattern rough pattern I will say uh, in between these low hundreds and the high uh, say $118 price point and we traded him there for a couple of weeks we did see a couple pokes through uh, even through $120 a share but those were quickly sold back down um, one other price point inside this channel that I do want to point out is right in here around $112 to $113 per share that was the level that was really kind of hard for us to poke through you can see we did it once and then we sold back down and it just, it really acted as a uh, resistance inside this channel before we were even able to get to that upper bound. But once we broke through it and we closed above it, we really started to see this big move. Now, another point that I want to point out um, is that a lot of people, given the world circumstances, are moving to online videos, online communication, back and forth, online meetings, um, because people are not having face-to-face -face interactions. Me being a college student, all of my classes are online. Now, while it is an extreme hassle for me uh, and probably thousands of other college students, um, there can be some silver lining, say, if you were to invest in Zoom video communications. I'm not saying that you should. Uh, I'm just saying if you look at companies that are going to benefit from the current world circumstances, say like Zoom video communication, um, that you you can come out on top. So uh, again, you know, a lot of people now that we cannot have these say face to face interactions for the time being are moving to these online platforms where they're able to communicate. Uh, back and forth with either an individual person or a whole group of people. So uh, with that being said, I think that is really the driving force behind this big 50, 60% move that we've seen over the past two weeks. Um, I just wanted to, to point that out as my own uh, opinion. I'm not saying that this is going to continue to skyrocket higher. Skyrocket higher. Uh, I do think that this is a lot of momentum and a lot of people that have the same idea thinking, okay, what are people going to be using now if they can't meet up in person? Boom, here's a video communication stock. Let's, let's throw some money in there. And I think that, again, has helped to push uh, this, this higher and higher. Um, so let's look at some levels for support uh, if this does see a retracement back to the downside. Um, my first level besides this channel would be up here around the high 120s to about $130 per share. You can see when we did poke through this channel, this is the top that we saw. And then once we poked through towards the tail end of this channel, 
back here late on Thursday. We blew, we blew through it and then shot back down. But then on Friday, we opened up right around there. Uh, and then that also acted as a support through Friday's trading day. I'll move it into the 15-minute time frame so you guys can kind of see what I'm looking at. So here, again, right in the high 120s to about $130 per share, which would be right up in here. So that's more of a support zone. Um, and then the next point that I want to look at, again, this is not a lot of trading, so these aren't going to be the most stable of supports, uh, but for the shorter term time frames, uh, they do hold a little bit of weight. Uh, is going to be right around the $135 price point, um, as that is where uh, we peaked out on Friday. We really couldn't break much above $135, but then on Monday today, we opened up right around that $135 price point, and then we just continued higher and higher. Now let's go ahead and move it into the one minute time frame. And there was one level that stood out that was uh, pretty key uh, in my eye, and you can see that up on the screen. That was the $152 price point. Um, and you can see in the early stages this morning, we pushed through $150 a share, moved up to $155 before seeing a quick little pullback, another rally, pullback. Um, and these pullbacks were to that $152 price point. Uh, and I say 152 as an exact number. It's not, it, again, you know, there was a lot of momentum and a lot of volatility in the market today. Uh, so I would say anywhere between $150 to $152 a share, give or take some pennies here or there, uh, was the nice support that we saw today. So as we move into tomorrow, if we do see uh, ZM start to pull back, this is a level in particular that I would be looking at right in the low 150s. You can also kind of look at some of these levels right around here, say uh, right below 150, around 148, 147. Uh, but again, there wasn't a whole lot of trading that went on there as far as uh, a support would go. Um, and you can also look down here where we set this top, 144. Again, I don't think these are going to be super significant levels. As time goes on, they could be but at the moment, not so much. And then if you want to look at a resistance, I would pick out today's high uh, in particular. So we'll call that $165 a share. And then we can also look here and see right around where we closed was $160 a share. Um, you can see that's the top that we made early this morning before seeing this nice little cup uh, action go on. And then as we moved out through the uh, later stages of the day, that was also um, a spot where we saw some resistance. So we'll go ahead and toss that in right in the one mid 159s up to 160. So I hope this video uh, was beneficial or helpful to you guys. Um, maybe you're seeing a few things here on Zoom that you didn't before. Uh, let me know if you guys like the video uh, or leave a comment as to how I can make these videos better for you guys. Uh, trying to do a few different things here and there to see what works best and what kind of conveys uh, my point or my stance the best. So make sure that you have some sort of trading strategy or plan put in place before you trade Zoom or any stock for that matter um, so that you are set up the best to make some money on your trade. So uh, thank you guys once again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.